Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm at my local stream and I'm collecting stock and food for my native tanks. And I wanted to show you what a sculpin looks like when he's hiding in the wild. Now let me see if I can find him because I think he may have just moved. He did. Oh, there he goes. That is a sculpin. And they are extremely difficult to spot when they don't want to be spotted. So there's a big old crayfish hiding down there. Little minnow swimming everywhere. There is some sort of fish. I've been dying to get it on camera. And I'd really love to catch one. And I don't know what it is. It looks very similar to that sculpin. But it is slightly different. It has a very pointed uh, snout. It reminds me a lot of my loaches, actually, in body shape. But it lives on the bottom and seems to move very much like these uh, sculpins do. So if I can catch one of them, hopefully I will discover a new uh, species around here that I'm not familiar with. Uh, I don't mean new to the area. I just mean new to me. So there's another crayfish hiding over there somewhere. There he is. So you can see this stream is just absolutely full of little uh, critters for me to play with. There's another crayfish crawling around over there somewhere. Oh, there he is. So they're just everywhere. The sculpins are everywhere. I've caught several today by accident. Um, I've caught several uh, black nosed dace by accident. And I heard some rustling over there in the bushes that sounded uh, very much like a snake. So I'm not going to go any further over that way because uh, we do have water moccasins around here and they're quite dangerous. So that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, look forward to updates on my native tank because I'm going home to start working on that right now. And I will leave you with that one last crayfish. Alright everybody, thanks for watching.